If they open this school, the only generation will come to this school. Let them trust. Hi guys. I'm sure you all remember the story of Sylvester Oromoni, the 12 year old boy who was beaten up at his boarding school and uh, he was later rushed to the hospital where he died due to some complications. Um, at first when this thing happened, it was painful for everybody, not just his parents, for everybody it was painful. For everyone who knows what it means to lose a loved one, it was painful. But at least one thing that could still come the pain everybody felt was justice. Okay? I don't want to say much about this case. Well, I'm really not happy about the matter. When it happened, I saw a lot of celebrities posting about it. Justice for Sylvester. I posted on my Instagram page as well. Hoping that we will get justice. And then the way the case was going, um, you know, Faz the bad guy, his father was a lawyer representing the case. So I was so excited. Like, even if the justice is not going to bring back their child, but at least it's still gonna make us feel better. Well, I went on Instagram yesterday. I saw some things that got me really heartbroken. They used to kill my soul. Oh. Even God that never does this. Oh. You never stay. It's not easy. You... The autopsy came out. It was said that none of those kids that they mentioned was guilty that the boy the boy died that Sylvester died of one ailment or something like that. I knew this was going to happen but I had a tiny little hope that for once the Nigerian government would do something right. But instead before our very eyes, before the eyes of educated people, before the eyes of people who are mourning, they turn the whole story around. <laughs> like nothing happened the boys were let off the hook the school was asked to resume on Monday we are here today to express our anger and our grievances with the fake and corrupt reform released by the legal state uh, that, was, that this school where all these have been trained and recruited that the five people that killed our son without trial, without concluded investigation, they said they declared this school to open. If they open this school, the only generation will come to this school. Let them try out and see. If they open this school on Monday, the only generation will come, we will carry our school bags, we will carry our feeding bottles, we will carry our food, we will join them in this school. Let them bring our tank here. Let them put our tank one here, one the right gate, one the old cell. We have the capacity. We will, if they don't be give us justice, this school cannot be open. I want to send a message to the government of this state. I believe he's a well-trained person. If he's suppressing justice, then he will not give peace this school without peace. Let us without peace. Nobody can stop us. When this is happened, we said, okay, we want justice. We fold our hands. It's the first time in the history of this world we are hearing that before an investigation was concluded, before a case are going to court, these uh, suspects are under bail. All of a sudden, on the holiday, on Saturday, Sunday, Christmas, the New Year Day, they judge the case in their house. They clear them. We will bring them here. Our son cannot die. And their own children will not walk into the school. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not Doing college. <clears throat> and you know what pains me the most is you as a parent your child goes to that school you've heard the story that happened I know many people are like it's not true, it's not true <laughs> what makes you think a dying child will lie about something like that are you, are you waiting for yours to be the next before you take a boat there and then you still take your child to that school it's painful I can't even keep talking right now, I'm tired.